Thursday. Good morning to you and welcome to another edition of ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. David Geller. Uh, I want to talk today about one of the topics that is very near and dear to my heart, and that is molar expansion. Now, ordinarily, you know, I'm not a big fan of molar expansion, but there is an exception to the rule. When the teeth are positioned to the lingual, then Molar expansion makes sense. So take a look at tooth number three, 1.6, and tooth number 30, 4.6. Those teeth are actually angulated ever so slightly in. Therefore, the Galler engine detects the lingual inclination. And if we have teeth that are lingually inclined, then we definitely want to expand them to look straight up and down. Not only is this a very powerful movement in terms of creating uh, space within the arch by expanding, it is a very safe movement as well. There is very little potential to have a posterior bite. That is as opposed to if you took a tooth that had a straight up and down and you tried to push it from the lingual, it has a high probability of tipping, leading to a posterior open bite. Now, the good news is for those of you using the Galler engine, the system will automatically detect this and do this for you. It'll put a G8 optimized support expansion attachment on any molars or premolars that are tipping to the buckle and going to create uh, a nice translation movement. The end stage occlusion on these teeth is both healthier in terms of occlusal traumatic forces, it helps our VDO, and it helps our expansion. So when teeth are tipped to the lingual, allow the Galler engine to expand them to the buckle. However, if there are teeth like tooth number 2.6, number 14, that are straight up and down, you'll see the engine did not do any expansion on it, did not put any movement on it. This has been a ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. David Gallagher.